All right, a growth of mindset, math, maybe act. What if we have math side Panthers? And this lesson's composite shapes, composite, composed. It's composed of more than one kind of shape. In this case, you may have noticed that this is composed of two rectangles. One way is to divide it into a rectangle that's really long up here. And then another rectangle down here. And then you just find the area of one, find the area of the other, and add them together. Ooh, how do we do this? Base times height is the area of rectangles. Base times height. What's the base of this yellow one? Five. What's the height? Oh, this is where it gets tricky. It's from here to here. How do we know what this is? Hmm. Well, the green part here is one. All the green and the yellow is, <clears throat> what is that, three? Kind of covered it up again. You can see. So it's uh, what's left, two. So this is two from here to here. Five times two, this is 10 meters squared. Ah, <clears throat> this one's easy. It's one times nine, nine meters squared. This is not the only way to do it. You could have divided it a different way, but we have to add it together. We need to add whatever our green amount is plus our yellow amount, and that'll give us our total area for this object. Uh, the green is 9 meters squared. The yellow is 10 meters squared. So the total is 19 meters squared. What's the other way you can divide this besides the top and the bottom? You can do a left and a right, can't you? Can't you? Can't you do it a left and a right? What if we cut it right here? And we have, say, a yellow here. And a green on this side. Mm -hmm. And I will not belabor the point. I think you guys can figure it out from here. So I'll pause the video and see what you do. See what happens. Okay, did you get 5 times 3 here? 15? Oh, see what you get for the yellow one. Okay, so this green from here to here is five meters. How do I know? Because it says five down here. So if it's five down here, it's five up here. Then all of it is nine. So I'm going to see this red line right here. All of this is nine. So nine minus the green, which is five, leaves us the yellow, which is four meters squared. Oh, and that's how I got four down here. So we just do base times height, four times one equals four meters squared. And now we can just take the 15 plus the four, and we still end up with 19 meters squared. Meter squared, meter squared, or square meters. Ta-da! Ah, I'm going to skip this one. We're going to skip this one. I'm going to skip, skip to my loo, my darling. Get down to the ones that are in your quiz. But you just break it into two. Oh, look at that. All right. Uh, we have a parallelogram and a rectangle. Same idea. You can see the ideas behind this. Just add them together. Composed of two different shapes. This one's composed of one, two, three, four, five shapes. <clears throat> can you do this one? This one's not too shabby, right? There's so many ways to do it, though. Hmm. Same here. So many ways. Oh, we missed this one. This one's a lot of fun. Try this one. Such little time, though. I'm going to get into the ones that are on your quiz. Like, not like this one, though. Like this one! Because this is what you're really going to be struggling with on your own. I don't want you to struggle too much. Mm, so many ways to do this one as well, but I'm going to break it down into its most basic components, which is right here in this screen. Is a... Dun, dun, dun. Parallelogram. And this one over here is identical. And you'll see that on the quiz... They have another one here, which is identical to that one. So I might as well just shade that in green as well. And then we'll do this yellow. Yellow. There's one, two, 
three identical triangles. It says that on the, on the quiz. Identical, three identical triangles and two identical parallelograms. Hmm. Of course, you can see some other shapes in here, but we'll just go with it like now. <clears throat> what is the formula for a parallelogram? Is it area equals base times height? Area equals half the base times the height? Or is it area equals half the height when you add the base 1 plus the base 2? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's this one! <laughs> That's not a good hint, is it? That's not very subtle. I dropped a subtle hint there. So it's just 5 times 5. This is the height. What, which one's the height? Is it the 5? Or why do they give us the 7? The 7 is from here to here. So yeah, that's not the height. It's the one that's that, that's right. The height is right. See how that's a right angle? The height is right. It's 5. So 5 times 5 is 25 inches squared. And this is identical. So this is 25 inches squared. So we're getting there. Inches squared. Now, what's the yellow? What's This is also base times height. What's the base? Well, if this is 5 from here to here, this is also 5 inches. And so that's the base. Which one's a triangle? Well, it's not this one. It's half of a parallelogram. So it's half. So we need to do the base times the height, which is 5. Half the base times the height. Let's say triangle area. Area of triangle equals one half the base times the height. So what's hmm, what's the base? Five in the height. Well, how do you figure out the height? Well, if all of this from top to bottom is seven, we only want this yellow part from here to here. And we know this part here is 5. What's left? 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. Or 7 minus 5 is 2. So this is 2. So it's half of 5 times 2. Half of 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. What's half of 10? 5. 5 inches squared. So each little yellow thing is 5 inches squared. 5 inches squared. 5 inches squared. Now we have to add all the three yellow things together and the two green things together for our grand total. Let's move this stuff over a little bit to make some room to do our addition. 1, 2, 3 yellow things. Two green things. That's the three yellow triangles. Oh, issue. Okay. So that's 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 25 plus 25. I know that 25 and 25 is 50. I know that 5, 10, 50 is 15. So I know total I have... All my yellows equal 15. All my greens equal 50. Add those together. That's a lot easier. Five, 65 inches squared. 65 inches squared is the total for this. all of these two leaning houses with some weird roof going upside down in it somehow. OK, how about this one? This one's easy to see the two shapes. Triangle. Rectangle. I'll pause the video and see what you get, and I'll show you my side when you're done. Okay, did you get 35 squeet uh, 35 squeet fared. <laughs> 35 feet squared for the green big rectangle? Okay, try the triangle now. Okay, so for the triangle, we need two things. We need the base and the height. Well, here's the base. So we'll figure that out next. First, I'm figuring out the height at the moment. The height is from here to here, which is the same thing as from here to here. And over here, it's not to scale. So the red is 10. The green is 5. So 10 minus the 5 leaves us 5. Interesting. So that it's not to scale. So I know it doesn't look like 5, but it is. Okay, because it's not to scale. So the height is 5. How would you figure out the base? 
Be right back. You try it. Okay, so this red from here, the left side to the right side, all the way across is 7. How do I know that? Because the bottom is 7. So that means this is also 7. And then the green here is 3. So what does that leave? 7 minus 3 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4. So this base must be 4. So the distance from here all the way to here is 4. 4 units, 4 feet. Now we know the base. Now we know the height. And we got to take half of that to get that triangle. What do you think? Try it. Okay, so that leaves the base as 4 feet times the height, which is 5. So we're going to take, rewrite it again, half of 4 times 5 is 20. What's half of 20? Area equals 10. So that's the yellow. So let's put it all together. The yellow 10 plus our 35 green gives us the total for this composite shape composed of two different shapes. And that would be 5, 45 what? Feet squared. 45 little squares we can fit in here. That's the terrible looking squares. All right, pretend like those are awesome squares and that there's seven of them across, five going up, and also up in here. Ta-da! Not to scale, of course. Okay, we're back. I had a meeting. I had, oh goodness, a class, and I have another meeting, and it's very, very soon, so I'm going to try to hustle up here. Stop talking! And here we go. Mm, how many shapes do you see? I'll highlight them. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, I just realized something. I see two triangles, and I see uh, almost a square, but it's a rectangle. But I realize these two triangles are not identical. So I'm going to go back and then change the color of one of these. Yeah, why not red? Why not, huh? Red. Oh, so many alarms. Oh, I could turn that one off. I already did that. Okay, next. Hmm, the rectangle's easier. It's going to be base times height, 5. The height is right. It's all right. See, it's right. Get it? Ha, ha. 5 times 6, that's 30 feet squared. And each triangle is 1 half the base times height. See, this is base and height. That's for the whole rectangle. But if we wanted half, half of it's the triangle. Right, so anyway, we're not taking half of that, that rectangle. What we're saying is, is that this red rectangle, for example, is already half of a, a rect I'm sorry, this red triangle is already half of a, a rectangle. There we go. So let's find out. What's the base is 1. No, that's the height. The height is right. The height is 1. The base is this distance, which is the same as, bum, 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 right here, 5. And we're taking half of whatever that is. And so what? That's a weird answer. 5 times 1. Oh, 5 times five times 1 is 5. This is a weird one. Half of 5 is, well, you got to do it like this. you got to say 5 divided by 2. 2 goes into 5 four, two times. And you're left with 1, remainder 1. But that would be 1 half, so it's 2 and a half. So this is 2 and a half, or 2.5 feet squared. I didn't mean to have any uh, decimals in our problems here, so sorry about that. I don't know how I missed that. Anyway, let's go to this one. 2 times the height is right. The right angle is 6. Oh, that's much. this is much better. 2 times 6, half of that. See, the whole thing would be 2 times 6. So the whole thing would be, all of this would be 12. We don't want all of it. We want half of it. Half of it is 6. So there's 6, 30, and 2.5. 6, 2.5, and 30. Add them all together. And what do you get? I'm going to put zeros in here as placeholders just to keep this in line. Line up, line them up and drop. Remember that? Line up the decimals and drop. This is, these are zeros, so that's 5. Drop the decimal. 6, 8, and 3. 38.5 feet squared is the answer. 
Sorry about that decimal thing there. I don't think you have a decimal in your in your so-called homework quiz. Can you identify the shapes here? I'll find out. Okay, let's do the first one. Six times one, six. This is not to scale, remember. What about this one right here? Well, that's easy. Two times one is two. Now, let's get into some triangles. How about this triangle right here? Do it in red. Okay, so it's base times height. Here's the base. What's this? What's this distance? Hmm, well, we know that from here to here is two because the top here says two, because this is two. And we know from here to here is six. So just to be clear, this six is not the same thing. So this is two, this is six. So this must be the rest of it. So six minus two is four, because this side plus this side has to equal six. So it has to be four. Now we know the base. And what's the height? The height is the one here plus this one, which is two. The height is two. So now we can do four times two. But remember, four times two would be the entire thing, all of this. We only want half of that. So we got to take four times two and then split it in half. Four times two is eight. Now take half of that. Remember, half the base triangle is the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. Base times height, four times two, half of that, half of eight is four. So this side's four, but so is this. But remember, we don't need this part. We just want that part. Ooh, so we do the same thing here. <gasps> two times the one, because this is one, is two, but what's half of that? One. Okay, add them all up. What is, remember we said this is six. Total area is six units squared plus two units squared, six plus two plus the four plus the one, six, 10, 12, 13, add them all up. Add the yellow six, the green two, the red four, and well, the one is white right now, but let's pick another color so it stands out. What about a blue, nice colors? And the one, ta-da, 13. How about this one? Okay, so this is a square in the middle, and then you got three identical triangles. Well, if this is a square, this is base times height, right? The area of any rectangle or square is just the base times the height. And the height, well, it's also four, because it's a square, so all the sides are four. So this is just four times four is 16, 16 centimeters squared. How about this triangle? The triangle is the base, which is four, right? Times the height, but it's gonna be half of that, half of the base times the height. So the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. And so it's gonna be half of base, which is four, the height, which is two. What's four times two is eight. Remember half of that, half of eight is four. So four, each yellow space, yellow triangle is four. Add them all up, 16 plus four, plus four, plus four is And I'm just going to do a little trick. Since I know 4 times 3 is 12, I know all the triangles total 12. Keep my 16 here and add that up instead. I'm going to get 6, 7, 8, 28 centimeters squared is for all of it. Try this one. Okay, how about just the yellow area? Base times height. Here's the base. Is 10. The height is just 1. So that makes this one pretty easy. 
is 10, 10 square units. Okay, what comes next? How about this one? This is probably the hardest one. Kind of. Well, you see the height. That's easy at least, right? The height is 1. It tells us that right here. But what's this mount right here? This is our base. Hmm. Okay, so the base for the rectangle is 10. If you bring that 10 up, you know, the whole distance from here to here is 10. We have to subtract 2 from either side, right? From both sides, one from each side. So if we subtract a 2 on this side over here, 10 minus 2 is 8. But we need to also subtract 2 from this side. 8 minus 2 is 6. That's how much is in the middle. 6. Which makes sense, because 2 plus 6 plus 2 has to equal the 10 of all of this red stuff here. Now we know 6. Now we can do the 6 times the 1, which is 6 units squared. So how are we going to do those triangles? That's what's left. That doesn't look so bad now, does it? I hope not, anyway. So if I erase these little marks here, and we're just left with these triangles, they need another color. I think I already used yellow. How about some purple in our life? Here and here. Well, we can see that it's just half the base times the height. Let me move this around. Because if we did base times height, it would be the whole thing, right? It would be all of this. So what's the base times the height? 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is just 2. So what's, oh, here comes another fraction. <laughs> what's, well, no, it's not. It's just going to be 1, 1 and 1, right? If all of it's 2, well, then split it 2 and half. Or you get 1 and you get 1. But we don't need you because you're not really there. We just need that one. And so that's, and since they're identical, that's this one as well. Now we can add everything up, uh, everything up. Uh, take the 10 plus the 6 plus the purple triangle, plus the other purple triangle. Here's 10. Green, 6. Green, green, there you are. Uh, purple, where are you? Purple triangle and another purple triangle. And we get 16, 17, 18. 18 units squared is the answer for the entire shape. Yay! I think that's it. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah, we're not going to do that. And there's some word problems. And there's bonus stuff. It's just lots of good fun. Oh, yeah, look at that. And we're going to end it here. Have a wonderful day. Let me draw a nice, happy, smiley face to y'all. Panthers. P, P, P. It's the three Ps. Price, price, and price. No, that's a, that's a commercial. Never mind. It's pride, passion. You know what the last one is? Purple. No, I'm kidding. It's not purple. It's purr. Purr like a kitty cat. Purpose. Did I smell purpose? OSE? I think so. All right.